Welcome to another episode of Weird Beard Fishing, y'all. I'm gonna change up a little bit today. As you can see, just drive back into the woods a little bit. Granted, not that far off the road. Still had to get back in here yet. And as you guys can tell, this river is completely flooded out. So, instead, we're gonna come over here and try a pond. I honestly have no idea if I'm gonna be able to catch anything today. But that's not gonna be the focus point of this video. The focus point of this video is going to be, I got something off of eBay. It was something that was cheap and something I could throw into my truck and always have with me. I got a two-piece rod and a cheaper cast king reel just to stay in my truck. And then I also got this little bag right here to sit underneath of my seat. And I always usually try to keep my camera on me and I leave it in my center console of that and my GoPro. So I'm gonna give you guys an honest review of this today. I've had it for a little while. You know, it's even though it's raining today, I'm still gonna try and make a video. Give you guys a little bit of a review. I'll give another review down the road after a few months of having it in the truck and using it. But uh, let's get the GoPro on. I'll give you guys a close look up of it and let's get fishing with it. All right, guys. So here's the rod. I have no idea how to pronounce that. It says Aka Aka Akataka Akataka Mega Wave Bass Cast. I mean, it was just some cheap eBay rod but it's something that I'm not gonna care too much if it gets messed up sitting in my truck because I've broken uh, quite a few expensive rods lately. Ooh. And see, with it being a two-piece, I've already tested the sensitivity out with this with my wife a little bit. Had her just barely touching the tip while I was holding it. And uh, it, it seemed pretty sensitive. I, I, I seem to like the guides on it. It seems like it's a pretty decent quality. And uh, this Cash King reel is, uh, which this is the Cash King uh, Cruci Crucius, I guess that's how you pronounce it, Crucius. I thought it was a pretty cool color. Um, I liked the gear ratio, you know, 6.5, I believe, that uh, is something in between. Yep, right there it is. 6.5 to 1 and uh, I spooled some uh, 12 pound fluorocarbon on it you know something in between it's you know I was going to go with a 10 pound test but I wanted something that was maybe just a little bit heavier if I wanted to throw a Texas rig into something but uh, let's go ahead and get this rigged up I'm going to put a Ned rig on it something a little bit lighter and see how well it casts and uh, let's see if we can get something and I thought this was a pretty cool little bag it has a it's like a binder for soft plastics I put a few thing you know a few terminal things right here and then everything in the bags you know my swim baits my Ned rigs and everything else I could just you know keep in the truck that I know I do good with some twister tails a few spinner baits and stuff and then I also added a small little box so I could put the uh, terminal tackle and a few little crankbaits and stuff because I usually do good on either a lipless or a, a square bill and jig heads and you know hooks and weights and stuff for Texas rig but this seems to be a pretty cool little setup that I can leave in my truck at all times because there's, how many times have you guys been out somewhere and be like man I really really wish I would have brought some stuff with me well now nah, I'm, I'm right there with you I, uh, I always think, man, I really wish I would have brought something. Well, now I'll always have the stuff on me. Oh, another cool thing is that this bag has a little holder for your pliers. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop thing. All right, let's get this rigged up. Let's get out there and start fishing with this, see if we can get anything. All right, so finally down here at the pond, Got everything all rigged up. Got my little uh, 
little to go bag with me. Let's see if something uh, something's gonna bite here. I mean, it's a pretty small pond. I should be able to fish it. Uh, pretty effective, just because there's not a whole lot of water to cover. I'm sure, I got this. I've had to tighten this thing up quite a bit. Let's see how it does on the first cast. Well, no backlash. That's a plus. It's definitely going to be tough because it's about 36 degrees and raining in January. <laughs> but I wanted to test my Christmas present out and see if this works. And there's the first snag. This is why I wanted that 12 pound test, just a little bit extra pulling power over the 10. Tell you guys what, it is definitely nippy out here. Crazy thing is, is halfway into January, they're calling for 50 degrees. How's it going? Good, are you dressing? Yeah. Okay. Someone called because you came down here to fish. Really? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't like to, brother. How, how do they even know it's me? I just ran the plate. Oh, oh. I saw you turn over and come down the embankment. Oh, okay. So, you're good, right? Yeah. Awesome. I'll see. I'll get that. No, I just meant, oh, did somebody say, like, uh, oh, somebody was going over there to fish, or did somebody say it was me? No, they just saw you pull in, saw your vehicle pull in. Oh, okay. They were, okay, they were worried, like, I was sliding off the road or something. Yeah. Okay, okay. I thought somebody knew me. I, I haven't lived here in like three years. Yeah. I dropped my wife off to visit the in-laws and come over and fish. <laughs> All right, push it. Thank you. Well, somebody called the cops on me. <laughs> I mean, whoever it was, thank you. I appreciate it. I wasn't sliding off the road. <laughs> I was going over the embankment to come over here. This little creek... Has, has come way up because like I said the river's flooded down right down there so a lot of this water backed up this little part of this creek usually this isn't a whole lot of anything but my guess is some of the fish should push up in here trying to get away from all that flooding granted this water is extremely cold so it's probably gonna be a very very tough bite to be honest I don't think I've done a whole lot of much of fishing here in Ohio in uh, January I don't even know where these fish would be. I mean, I know deep, but when you have a creek like this, they really can't go deep. But I've got a few hours to try and figure these fish out. Uh, if, I don't, if I don't catch anything within about an hour, hour and a half, I guess I'll head over to that spillway and give it a try before it gets dark. Because it's getting dark pretty daggone early. This play, ooh, this spot definitely looks promising. Just kind of wish I had a better place to stand, except for all the way up here. I'm actually impressed with how well this rod feels. I've never, I've not had a two-piece rod since I was a little kid with a Zebco. I definitely feel like I just got hung up. Oh, see, um, like I'm telling you, I can definitely feel with this rod. I can feel myself going over rocks and everything. Yeah, sorry about all the highway noise. I'm definitely really close to the highway comment down below who else is out here in the middle of january in the rain still fishing it's either insanity or dedication and might be a little mix of both but pretty much don't let anything stop me from fishing I've seen a lot of people posting some big fish this winter already some new pbs and whatnot all over instagram which if you're not following me on instagram go and do that now weird beard fishing post up there daily add my story all the time you guys don't even get to see probably half the times that i'm fishing because i forget a video camera i forget to bring my gopro bring my regular camera for intros and stuff so i just post on instagram and sometimes i'll put little uh little stories and stuff especially uh fishing in the hawking and some of the places that are closer to my house oh so far this is doing pretty good i haven't had any backlashes um you know knock on some wood haven't had any backlash sensitivity is pretty good especially out of a chinese rod and i got this pretty daggone quick man i usually stand out on this even the water's up in the pond i usually stand on that tree right there
got one. Yeah! That's awesome. I did get a fish. I did not get skunked in the middle of January in the rain. Thank you, Ned Rig. That is what I'm talking about. First fish, new rod, middle of January. Deadly Ned Rig. Tiny little. 11 inch bass but you know what i will take it first fish of the year january raining let's go on the deadly netly thanks little dude man that bite was so soft and i was still able to feel it with this two-piece rod slowly dragging and soaking this little ned rig came off a branch let it down let it sit there for a second and felt a tick and I'm telling you, I know there's some big fish in this pond. They gotta be around here somewhere. Tell you what, so far, I'm definitely pretty impressed with the rod. The reel, I'm gonna give more time, but it is definitely handling this uh, this small weight. Now, th this is not my first time ordering a cast king reel. Um, I did order a Speed Demon when it first came out about three or four years ago. Actually, it might have been longer now, maybe like five years ago. But I ordered it and I got it. I put line on it, went to cast, and it made some god awful horrible noises. Now, granted, I've heard that Cast King has definitely got a lot better over the years. Uh, their bearings have got better, their longevity of the reels have got better, um, and I personally think the reels look a lot better now too because the Speed Demon is definitely not a good looking reel. But I wanted something that had that high gear ratio to try out. And, uh, like I said, it was not a good uh, good experience. So I just returned it. I mean, I got a refund, so I can't say anything. They did refund me my money, but I would say this second experience, this this Cast King reel is uh, is 100%, 100% different. This feels just like any of my other reels that I have, uh, you know, comparing it to my Abu Pro Max or any of my Lou's. It, it does uh, pretty good so far. Reels real smooth. I haven't backlashed it a whole lot. I've only backlashed that one time, and that was my own fault. I hit it on the on the water, and I don't care what reel that you have. Whenever you're going for a hard cast and real low, and you smack that water, that it's gonna backlash. You're gonna get a bird's nest. And uh, this being a cheap rod, I can definitely feel. I can definitely feel a lot. Be a test over time. Like I said, this is my initial review. I just got the. The rod and the reel over Christmas, first time fishing with it. And I'm gonna give you an honest review. I'm not sponsored by anybody by any means on my channel. I've had a few people approach me and uh, ask if I wanted to be a pro staff or you know sponsored, but um, I'm not gonna promote stuff that I have not used and that I don't know if it's any good or not. I'm not gonna just have somebody say, hey, uh, I'm gonna pay you to promote my stuff and I will give you the free things. Uh, that's not me. I'm not gonna tell you guys to go buy something that I personally would not buy. That's fish. Oh, it came off. About took my, uh, about took my Ned Rig off again. Man, they are chomping this thing. I mean, if you guys can see that, this thing is all tore up. I don't know if it's crappie or small bass, but there's definitely something nibbling on that. And they're biting it pretty hard. That did not feel like the bass bite. The bass bite was barely a tick. So any review that I give you guys is 100% my honors review, not sponsored. Stuff that I, I buy for myself. And you know what? If I'm not impressed with something that I buy, I'm gonna tell you, I don't care if I get negative feedback from a company, this or that or whatever. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. And for this being a budget truck setup, you know, I'll leave the links down below of where I got the rod and the reel. I believe I got both of them on Amazon and I think the rod was maybe 50 bucks and the reel was maybe 50 bucks. So I've got a hundred dollar combo that I can leave in my truck all the time.
thought I felt a bite. They're just tearing this thing off. They get it almost down to where the hook is and then just don't get it. All right guys, so a little bit of an update. It's snowing now, which that's great, but it's snowing and I'm at the spillway. I'm gonna give this spot a try for a little bit. It's gonna get dark pretty quick. It's coming up on four o'clock already. It's gonna be dark by 5.30, so I've got about an hour and a half. I'll give it my all. Let's see if we can get something at this little spillway. Yeah, I'm regretting not bringing my gloves or my coats or coveralls or anything because it's uh, it's getting pretty cold. It keeps trying to snow and flaring and stuff, and I have not got a bite since I've got here. All right, guys. So my overall review of this rod and reel as a travel rod to keep something in your truck definitely gets a thumbs up from me. And like I said, I will leave the stuff down in the description so you guys can get it if you want. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to show you guys how well it actually fits in my truck when I break it down. And this is how easy it fits in my truck. Oh, come on now. This is really hard to do in one hand. It's right behind the headrest. I don't gotta put it underneath the seat. I don't gotta take the seat and you know lay it down. Fits there just like a gun rack. Perfect, yes. All right guys, well, that's all for today. I got the one fish, but I did get to go out and try my new rod in real combo. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty dang good setup, especially for a two-piece rod that I can leave in the truck and I can go fishing with it any time. So now, hopefully, I can film more for you guys. I can fit the camera stuff and just leave it in the center console. And now, if I just have that in the back, I can have my work stuff in the back where people can get in the back. Instead of having to have my fishing rods sitting in the passenger seat, all my fishing stuff sitting in the back seat, then people can't get in. I can't use it for work purposes or for anything else. So, and like I said, I will leave everything that I bought down in the description so you guys can see how much it is, where I got it, and get it yourself if you would like. Appreciate everybody who takes the time out of their day to watch this video. And if you like it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and leave that notification bell on so you know when I'm posting up new videos. Catch you guys next time on the next episode of Weird Beard Fishing.